Hello and welcome to the Suzuki GS750 Calf Racer build. So what do you think? They looked alright, didn't they? So, as I mentioned last week, I had some rear sets waiting for me down at the post office. So, picked them up. Yeah, picked them up. Uh, they're a set of Honda CBR 900. 900, I think. Yeah, 900 rear sets. Um, they look fine. Um, they kind of go on the bike. I need to make some kind of slight alterations to the linkages to work with the GS. So I've got a few of the bits and bobs on order. Um, so yeah, we'll probably get in. Well, we'll get into that next week. That'll be next week's video. This week I need to create those rear set brackets. So basically. You've, if you've watched the build series, you would have seen those wooden brackets and pegs that I had kind of prototyped on the bike. So that was my foot in position. That was what I wanted for the bike. So now I need to replicate that in at the plate. So yeah, we're going to crack on with that. So yeah, let's jump into the shed. Right back in the work shed. Favorite place to be. Yeah, that was that's been on the bike for a few quite a while now. So I was going to say months, but it's probably been more like a year. So that prototype bracket originated from these cardboard templates. So I made these as like a, a rough guide of how I wanted the brackets to be. So basically, I just measured up uh, a piece of string so they're you know um, symmetrically correct. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, you may be asking why this bracket is bigger than this one. For some reason on the GS, the, the mounting points for this bracket, they're slightly slightly higher than this side. Um, it's just the way the bike's made. I'm not sure why. I'm sure there's a reason why. But um, it's just the way it is. So obviously this bracket is a bit bigger. Um, so yeah, I've gone one step further than that. I've actually cut out an alley plate bracket and I've put it on the bike and it works perfectly. Um, I'm gonna play around with it a little more. Um, I just, I'm thinking about kind of taking this centre section out as well, just to give it a bit more, bit more of a look. Because uh, at the minute it's quite, it's, it's quite light. Yeah, it's quite light, but it's also quite, yeah, could do with a bit of should we say sharpening up a bit, tidying up. So that one's done, I'm really happy with that. What I need to do now is do the other side. So generally speaking, whenever I'm gonna do, do something for the bike, I always do kind of a prototype version. So yeah, there's been many prototype versions. So obviously got the template, then that was the first prototype. Then this was a trial piece which has worked out really well so that's going to go on it so happy with that so I can carry on with this one now so we're going to crack on made a bit of a snap judgment um, on the template obviously you can see the bottom I've got these two kind of circles I'm just gonna cut that straight because it's just gonna be this plate is quite difficult to cut so yeah I'm just gonna cut it straight it's it's gonna be fine um, yeah I don't know if I had some better equipment maybe I could do it but yeah with a grinder and a grinding disc it's just it ain't easy so I'm gonna cut it straight Okay, so you can see I've got my general shape and all I need to do now is just kind of attack it with one of these flat discs, so 40 grit flat disc. So just take all these corners off, smoothen it out and then 
before I get into the final kind of shaping of it, I'll drill the holes for the um, for the pegs because if I naff it up at that stage, then I've not gone too far with it. Right, okay, so that's one bracket done. What I need to do now is basically drill the holes. So we've got the mounting with foot peg, shall I say. So the foot peg hole's got to go there, and then we've got the two mounting points down here. Basically just like that. Um, so what I need to do is drill these holes square, if you understand my meaning. Um, it's not exactly precise engineering, but it's it's pretty, it's not far from it, shall we say. Um, so to drill these holes, all I've got is a hand drill, and unfortunately you don't get a, a very square drill, drilled hole, shall we say. So I'd love to have a drill press. Um, it's one thing I've been looking at, I'd love to have one, but there's no chance, I, I couldn't put one in this shed. Basically, in the UK, we have what we call their terrace houses. So they're like an old Victorian house. So basically, there's shared passage at the back of the gardens. So my shed is in one of those gardens, so people can walk freely in and out of the garden. I know it's bizarre, but that's the way they used to do it 100 years ago. So, yeah, the shed's in the back garden, so I don't particularly want to put all my good tools in the shed. So it's one of the reasons why I don't want to drill press. I'd love to have one. Unfortunately, I've got the only place I can keep it is in the in the house, and I've already got my toolbox in there, as you've seen. So that's another reason why the toolbox is in the shed because it just get nicked. What I need to do is going back to it because I'm going off, to, off topic now. I need to drill, drill these holes, and they need to be square. So what I've come up with. I mean, I've seen this online, so it's not really what I've come up with. But what I've made to do this is basically is a guide. Yeah, you could just use the square section, square box, but unfortunately, I've not been able to cut it completely square because, again, I'm just using the grinder. It's not great. But I knew this piece of wood, this piece of hardwood, was squared up. So which was great. So all I had to do is basically just cut a bit of stock square tube in and just put it on the in, in this 90 degree corner just so it's um, so the drill's not going to cut through the wood. I know it's hard wood but the drill's still going to like wear through it. So basically how it works is just mark your hole, bang, put this on top and because it sits flat it's perfect for the job and then you just basically drill your hole but keeping the drill bit against that 90 degree angle there and you get your perfectly centered hole so that's what I'm going to do now right so basically what I do now is just get the drill started and then I'll add the square in box section There you go, nice little fit. Right, I'm going to start cutting out um, a bit of an aperture in the left hand side mount. So basically all I'm, all I'm going to do is probably take this section out here. So I'm going to drill a few holes and then see if I can cut it out with a grinder. Plan. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm a bit nervous about cutting this because I've put a lot of work into this and to bugger it up now would be, yeah, I would probably sulk massively. So let's get it right first time. <laughs> right, okay, so that's as far 
as I want to go with a grinder. Um, you may have noticed like on the back, the side that I'm not going to see, there's a bit of a cut there. So that was a mark where I accidentally slipped a little bit. So once it's all done, I'm just going to fill it with some JB Weld. Uh, you're not going to see it this side. So it's only going to be this side that you're going to see. So yeah, I've got as far as I want to go with grinding it down. Um, what I'm going to do now is just drill this last bit out and then probably with the last few bits go with it with um, a hacksaw blade just so I've got a bit more control. Oh, That could have gone really bad. I should have known better really. Um, I was just rushing to get that last hole drilled. Um, yeah, these things happen always towards the end of whatever you're doing yeah it always comes collapsing down so yeah I should really know better but it, it's come out alright so I just need to tidy it up now taking me a hell of a long time but yeah I'm really chuffed with that I think it'll look really good on the bike all I need to do now is just just do a bit more filing on these outer edges uh, sand it over and then give it a bit of polish and then we can stick it on the GS so there you have it that is one of two rear set brackets for the GS. Yeah, it's taken me a while to do, and um, there's been some arse clenching moments, shall we say, but it's turned out really good. Um, I mean, I could go further with this and just sand it down with further grades of sandpaper and just polish it up, but um, I, I don't really want to go that far, to be honest with you. Um, there's parts on the bike that aren't as you know, polished. So if you do one bit on the bike, you've got to do another bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Right. So as I said, that's one of two brackets. So I'm going to crack on with the other one. I'm not going to bore you with that because it's pretty much the same process. Maybe a little easier because it's a little bracket. So uh, we'll catch up at the GS. So there you have it, two reset brackets. Yes, I know the bolts don't completely fit flush to the rear sets, but they're fitted on the bike. I, I do need to get a new set of um, bolts for them. So I'm looking at getting some stainless steel hexagon ones that just tie in with every kind of every other bolt on the bike. So, but for now they're, they're on the bike and they they look great. So, yeah, I can play around with the rear sets and get that all functioning and sorted for next week. Right. So we'll end it there for this episode. I'd like to thank the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. And also the people that are watching the build series and continuing to watch, thanks very much. Uh, it's really appreciated. Another thought, if you guys would like to see anything on the bike in particular or something you'd like me to go over again, just drop a, a comment in the, in the comment section below. I mean, the likes and the thumbs up and the comments, it's all, yeah, it's all appreciated. Uh, and if I can get a bit more kind of involved with you guys yeah that's that's kind of what this channel's about so I'm trying to cater to to your own builds as well so if there's anything in particular you'd like to see yeah just let me know so 
Next week, we'll work on the rear sets on the bike. So until then, I guess take it easy and I'll see you around.